Hello viewers. So, so far we have touched upon the experimental designs uh, and varieties of and types of this experimental design. A uh, little bit uh, variant will be there today in my video. Uh, in between, I am taking up one, uh, you can say, small uh, video on how to write research paper. This video is specially dedicated to those who are just starting their research journey. Because whenever we start research journey, our uh, guides or our experts, or when you enter into any PG course, it is always required from your side to write research paper or to start writing research paper. Uh, scholars and the students usually get stuck up that how to start it. Irrespective of getting a lot many ideas or not many, you can say, expert advices, they really struggle a lot to start writing a research paper. So I thought to support them, I thought to help them with this, with the help of this video. This video mainly will tell you how to start the process of writing a research paper. See, writing a research paper is an art and once you start writing, it will be getting polished day by day and you will be able to write uh, up to a level where it can be published in a very good and repeated journal. Because nowadays for the professors, for the teachers, it is the requirement to publish their paper in the Journal of National and International Repute. So from the beginning it is a little bit difficult but as you start writing, as you write, uh, you can say regularly, so it improvises your writing, it helps you to uh, get it more refined day by day. So to understand that, it is very important to understand the beginning part of that. So this video mainly tells you about what are the basic steps of writing, start writing a research paper, what all are the ingredients because the span of 10 to 15 minutes will let you know the basic points we have to touch upon when we write a research paper and how should I get into it? What is the that first part which I should do to start writing a good research paper? So here we will be uh, understanding those points with the help of my, uh, you can say, chalk and duster mode which I always say. So take your pen and start writing the points which I will be now sharing with you all about writing a research paper. So now let's start understanding how to write a research paper. Before this, first of all, we will start with that usually we have something in, my, in our mind like this that what is a research paper? very general question which comes in mind in the beginners and then how to write it and then why to write so we will take all these questions that is what is the research paper then yes one more thing what to write why to write and how to write so we will take all these things one by one Let's start with what is a research paper? A research paper is your own idea backed up by the knowledge and ideas of the experts related to the field. Whenever we talk about the research paper, we actually want to share a piece of information. We want to write uh, your our own idea or we want to write something uh, related to our own field backed up by some observations, backed up by the pool of thoughts uh, given by the experts of that field. So in short, I can say that with the help of the research paper, an idea, a thought or a concept can be communicated to the community, to the academic community or to the entire community who wants to go for it. So that is the fundamental uh, base of writing a research paper or knowing about what a research paper is. Basically, the research paper involves a quest for knowledge and the thoughtful analysis of the information. Now, please understand this thing that is the thoughtful analysis that when you get the data, we all have information around us. So if I have an information and if I'm not able to utilize that information properly in the form of a data or you can say or in the form of the uh, framing of the words so that information goes into vain. So whatever information I gather, I have to convert that into the proper, uh, you can say, uh, in, 
proper ways so that I can write something on it and I can communicate it to the masses. For an example, take an example presently here. A very simple example is of the online education, which will further clear in your mind about the research paper, online education. Now, online education may have right now lot many facets to uh, have an attention on. That is online education related to the student uh, Online edu education related with the teacher. Yes, online education related with the business community as well. Because we are seeing that presently online education is for the students given by the teachers and there's a business for it. If you see presently the uh, those people, those who are into the online education business, their profits have uh, gone to many folds like way. They are not having any negative effect of the COVID-19 as such. Even we can say that, yes, for them, the COVID-19 is becomes a blessing. So that we have to understand that if I'm taking, if as a scholar, uh, I'm, I want to write a particular thing. So I can say that uh, if uh, I, as a scholar, if I'm a scholar of a business um, and management, so I can relate, I can say, that online education and business perspectives. So I can look into into this part, perspective. Maybe if I'm from the education field, so I would like to see the effect of online education on student. Now here you can take a lot of variables student health, student performance, likewise. So with this example, what I, would, what, what I would like to convey is that whenever we start writing a research paper, we as a researcher should have a base or a concept in our mind or any kind of uh, information which we are gathering from the society. And then with the help of the various tools and techniques, we uh, you can say articulate a research paper, we articulate our writing and then present it in the form of a research paper. So with this, I think the first answer that is what is a research paper along with why we are going for the writing that both part has been taken because we write a research paper to give the information to the masses which otherwise have been lost in a big way. So research paper helps to communicate those things to the society which are not uh, you can say seen by them in that perspective in which I as a researcher gonna to communicate. Originality should be there in research paper and we have there are types of varieties of research paper which I am not touching right now here because this video is specifically is to how to write research paper specifically for the beginners. Those who are masters into it, no ways about it. It's wonderful but those who are starting their research journey, those who are facing a lot of troubles that from where I should start I think this video is going to be helpful to them. So once, first of all, you have to understand what is a research paper, a paper which gathers the information, but not only by others, your own thoughts, your own concept, backed up by the empirical evidences lots of times, because then it only, it will give the weighted advantage to the your research paper or some original information must be there in that research paper. With this, I think these two things, why we go for it and what is clear. Now, the most important thing, how to write the research paper. For that, there are certain steps. We will take it one by one and I'll explain you. The first is, that is, select an appropriate topic. I explained to you just now that how to select a topic. It should be related to your own area in which you are doing research or any other area, but usually take for uh, go for th that area in which you are uh, pursuing your research uh, so that it will be helpful to gather the information and so that it will be helpful academically as well. So once you select an appropriate topic, secondly, just make a theoretical framework that what argument you, got, you would like to put. Like for an example, presently, again, taking the example of present pandemic situation, COVID-19, you want to put an argument that this evidence, this COVID-19 has become a blessing for the online education um, business. So definitely you will collect some facts and figures with the help of primary data or with the help of secondary data. And then you will state your argument that you are having this thing in your mind that this particular pandemic situation has given a boom to the online education business. So that's why this things you have to, uh, you have to clear and this is state your argument uh, point. Then next is you have to know your audience. Uh, audience. 
that means for whom you are writing obviously you are writing for the academic fraternity our research paper is being read up by mainly the academic fraternity but also for taking some inputs sometimes the industry people also read it in magazine also if you are publishing any article and research paper it is being uh, you can say it is usually taken taken up by the industry people as well so you have to look after this that who is going to read your uh, paper so you have to know your audience very well after this you have to organize a research now this is the most important point point that how you are going to organize your research you have to conduct a thought that how you will be carrying out your research taking back again that same example that is online education business so you have to see that how many uh, companies are there in this online education business how they have improved how they have incorporated what is the trend in year on year basis so all these things you have to keep in your mind and considering all things you have to organize a research so you have to sketch you have to design your research that is research design part will be the most integral part of this particular point you have to design your research and then in the paper also you will be covering this organizing a research under the head research design or research methodology and the most important thing is referencing because while you will write a paper you will always have a review extensive review so definitely all those reviews which you are taking into consideration all those literature you are referring that should be covered in your referencing part referencing is again a very important part of your research paper after this very quickly we will be touching upon the contents of a research paper what all are the contents of a research paper normally it's vary from journal to journal but in general we have lot of approaches also for this but a just outline as i am saying it is for the beginners so i want to i would like to make it more easy for you rather than little bit critical or complicated so just understand whenever we start writing a research paper we have some points to cover with the first point is abstract abstract which is having the keywords but remember usually we write it at the end of the uh research paper because it is a summary but how to go for a research paper we make an outline that outline is different thing long abstract is a different thing because here i will there i will make a theoretical framework that how i will start my paper and how i will end my paper but when i write the paper in paper abstract is of let's suppose 250 to 300 words which is being asked by various conferences and various uh, places where you are submitting your paper research paper because they would like to see with this abstract that what is the key take away from your research paper and that is the selection criteria also by various journals of national and international repute so this abstract is to be written at last then we start with introduction introduction covers the background of your theme which you are covering in your research paper most important thing with which we start writing our research paper is literature review whenever you write writes paper research paper first part which you will complete uh, that is literature review because this review will give you lot of ideas lot of thoughts lot of variable but when you will write the paper exactly you will write it at the time uh, of constructing a research paper you will gather it uh, before and then you will incorporate those reviews which are of recent uh, time and having a relevance with your research paper then you go for that uh, important part that we call it as research design research design includes objectives methodology what type of research you are doing what type of data you are collecting what type of sampling method you are taking what kind of hypothesis or research question you are making all these parts will be covered in research design then after completing the research design the most important part is your results and discussions because this is again the heart of your paper surely with this you will cover cover the analysis also so if you are going for the analysis then analysis and results and discussion this is not the tagging you will do this is a content time telling you tagging may be different paper to paper and if at all i am not going for any kind of primary analysis or mean median i am just writing a paper even then you must be having some analysis with you because this is not some a kind of story you are writing this is the research paper you are writing which must be having some evidences to prove it so definitely you will be having an analysis part or a discussion part which you will be covering here and after then you will write conclusion and we sometimes write the word epilog also so conclusion and if it is a research paper surely you will can write the future scope of research 
that what can be the next level of the research. This is very important because if I am reading a paper, so and if it is mentioned in the previous paper that what is the future scope, maybe that point can trigger in my mind and I can go for the further subsequent research into that field. Last but not the least is the referencing part which is again very important as I have explained in the uh, earlier section also that you have to cover the referencing and bibliography. Usually in research paper we go for referencing because we take a lot of references. If we have referred one or two books or documents like that so we can cover the bibliography. For this usually we have standard formats as per the journal. Some journals call for APA, some journals call for other, other styles. So we have to see our paper according to the format. We construct a paper, we develop a paper and then as per the journal where we are submitting it we format it according to that norms and conditions. So I hope uh, my beginners, my viewers, those who are starting their journey, specifically I'm highlighting this because those uh, who wants to know what the research paper is all about must have got an idea with this short video uh, about the research paper, why we are going to write it because I want to communicate something to the society and I, as a researcher, it's my duty to give something back to the society. So I'm going for that. And then how to write, I have given you the components, I have given you the outline of a research paper. Very soon I'll be coming up with the types of research paper, how many types of research papers are there. But meanwhile, I request you all to start your research journey, have a comprehensive literature review, read a lot of things, observe things and start writing and develop your research mind and research component. Thank you.